You might have heard the tip that killing flocking creatures is a good way to earn experience points. So I want to give you a few other tips related to this because I managed to find a world with these floating brain creatures which will come over and try and nom on your head but they're really easy to kill as you can see and basically one magazine with five shots in it was enough to earn 100 experience points and if you're churning your way through loads of these then you can get loads of experience points and level up your skills really quickly and I've actually managed to pass through multiple levels in a few hours doing this. This then opens up obviously skill points which you can then spend in various different ways. I have used them in different ways too. Stealth for example was one of them because it's really easy to stealth these creatures because you can just crouch and shoot at a long range with a sniper rifle that's suppressed and that counts obviously as a sneak attack which then gives you bonus damage as well as that sneak requirement for the extra skills. There are other skills that are worth spending money on as well like ones that kill the different creatures and give you a boost but as you'll see I'm level 49 and if you go in there you can basically see how much experience you need to get through. If you've got a powerful enough weapon and it's fast firing enough or will do massive critical damage like this one does then you can see that you can basically chip through these creatures really easily and get loads of XP pretty quickly. If you upgrade your skills so that you get extra loot out of the creatures after you've killed them, that can really help too. So there are things to do. So what I'd recommend is spending your skill points on weapons that you really like. So obviously in this instance it makes sense to spend skill points on rifles, sniping and scoped weaponry. And then you can upgrade your favourite weapon and your abilities with it while fighting enemies that aren't really going to fight back very much. Now you will also find herding creatures knocking around in some of these worlds and they'll flock towards you too. But I like these floating ones in the air because they're really easy to see at a distance. What I've also found that's useful is that if you've killed off some in an area, you can then fast travel on the planet, end up in a new area, and they'll spawn around you. This means that you can avoid having to walk a great distance because you see I've just fast traveled and now there's a great big bunch just there. So you don't need to keep moving around the world and then you can just fast travel again. By the way, did you know that you can fast travel to a light side of the planet? So if you spin the planet around, pick a spot that has light on it on the map, it'll then be daylight instead of night time, which is also handy. So there are various different things that you can do here to maximize the number of skill points you're getting and also what you're going to be using them for and then potentially how much damage you're doing over time. I went from level 47 right up to 50 and then up to 62 eventually. I did have to kill a hell of a lot of creatures to do it though, so we've got 2,000 creatures killed here, and obviously that means a lot of bullets. Skill points can also be spent on other useful things in the combat section, so not only on the particular weapons that you like, for example rifles, but also on reloading. I'd recommend using that skill, reloading skill. It speeds up how fast your weapon reloads, so if you're firing a fast firing weapon like this revolver, for example, it will then reload much more quickly and that makes it a lot easier to then keep churning through those kills. If you'd like to see if this planet will work for you as well then here it is. It's over in the Hyla system and it's Hyla 2 is what you're looking for. Can't guarantee unfortunately that this will work for you because there's obviously a lot of procedurally generated planets with different creatures on but maybe you'll find it here. Just land anywhere in the swamp areas.